Hey guys, how you doing today? It's me, Kelly. I'm going to do a little video. I'm going to do the cover of this and then the cover of the other one. And I was excited. What got me excited was that these uh, Deco Art um, misters go over the uh, colors so well. So I thought I'm going to try them and uh, let's see how they work. And I like this part with like the bleeding kind of melting kind of thing um, because um, I think that's what an art journal is in a sense. If you're having a bad day, you put your, you know, you do an art journal page or even write. A lot of people write and then do art journal pages. So it's kind of like, you know, my heart's going in there for different things that I see and I love and I'm sad and I'm this and I'm that. So let's get started. So all this is, this is a uh, stencil from uh, Folk Art um, plaid, I think, when they, for the, um, when you do t-shirts and stuff, you know how you can get like the puffy paint and all that kind of stuff? That's what this is for, for uh, sprays. So I'm going to use it for this. And I think I'm going to start with yellow. And let's see what this does. Now I'm not real good. You know, I love mixed media, so I'm not worrying about a crisp, clean line, you know, lines, but I'm just going to kind of do my thing. And I'm going to do a little yellow there. Let's just peep and see what it's like. Oh, yeah. Look how that really comes through. But I'm going to do more colors. So I'm going to set that back like that. And remember, these are permanent. Don't forget they're permanent. This is what makes them delicious. I don't even know if they have more colors I'd have to try. Now, if I use green, that's going to be a little bit too much. If I use orange, it's going to be. So let's just do a little squirt there. We're going to make it. I'm so into the... Um, that graffiti look, I can't stand it. It's like my new favorite thing in the world. So I'm just going to kind of graffiti it. Use some purple. Oh, I'm throwing the cap everywhere out of excitement. A little bit of splatter. Where'd my cap go? I tell you what. Do y'all do that too? And it was, oh, there it is. It was sitting on my lap and I thought, oh, it'll be fine. No, no, it wasn't. All right. So that's what I'm going to do with that cover so far. And you can see it's not, um, it's not real graffiti, but it's, it's gorgeous. I mean, I, you can't really see how good, but I have all this extra deliciousness. So let's turn it because, oh, you know what? Let's do it. No, I'll turn it. I get too excited. I'm going to turn it a little bit. There's that fun page I did yesterday. Now I know I don't have, I didn't just so many pages. So let's do it on this page because it's light. I'm going to do that and then I'm going to take, I don't, I can't find my rolly pulley so I'm going to use my glue stick because we're using things that we have. You can use this on your jelly plate and anywhere else that you want to use it. I'm just getting it down there. We're getting it down. Okay, I can see the color. Oh yeah, look at that. Oh, that's a great start, and that's permanent. So when I go to do a page on here, mixed media, that's going to be peeping out. And it dries very fast. So I'm just going to kind of do this, do that. Get a little bit more over here. I'm not going to worry too much about a pattern. I know, you guys can't see, so I'm way off. Way off. But it's nothing there. It's just kind of like ploopies. So, and that's what that looks like right now. And I'm not going to clean it because I don't want to. So let's go back to the cover. The cover is right there. Nothing bad happened. It looks good. Let me move it back another minute. All right. So what else do I want to do? I want that to dry. And it's all, this stuff dries fast. I'm really surprised. Really happily surprised, I should say. But let's use some interference colors. Let's do an interference blue, and I'm going to put it up here. And let's see. I'm going to shake it up real good. No song to sing on that one today. I'm just going to do a little bit of squirting because a little bit, I've learned, a little bit goes a long way. And I'm going to just dry my brush off for a second. I don't want to dilute this too much. And I'm going to put that interference down. And I got some overspray here, but I like it. It adds to that grungy texture. So I'm going to just put this on here. I'm loving your guys' uh, look at this wet brush. Look, okay, well, that wasn't dry, so that's not fair. But the rest of it does not move. 
Oh, gosh. But you guys, uh, your pages, Barbara, Barbara Burke, just uh, put one in our group that she did. She made her own. Oh, look at that. Look at that green. Did you see how that changed? I don't even know if you did, but I did. Going over it. Oh, it's making it iridescent. Let's do something in here. See, what I should have did was red. Maybe I'll do that and make it run red and then go over it. This is the fun about doing covers is you do, you know, you just play. Yeah, just play. All right, so I'm going to put this bad boy here again. I'm going to take some of this color, which is primary magenta. Now, you can use your... Um, Oh, we got our we got our shimmer misters too. I haven't used yet, but hmm, let's see. Ooh, white. Sh oh, geez. Oh, Pete's. No, we're not starting those today. Um, I love magenta. Let's do this. Okay. Now it does spray everywhere. You can see I have it kind of everywhere, but I'm a messy person, so <laughs> it doesn't matter. But I'm gonna what I'm gonna do this time is I'm going to take a piece of regular cardstock. Now, this is a little textured cardstock. I don't know if you're going to be able to see because it's uh, white and you know how that works. But I'm going to use the textured side, and I'm just going to press it here just to clean up off that stencil. And let's see what we get. Because these are all great pages. And the fact that it's permanent. Oh, come on. Come on, look at that. That is gorgeous. Oh, all right, all right. I'm not gonna get continue getting too excited because look at that, how awesome. Look, I got two for the price of one, and guess what? I'm going back to this, and I'm gonna put it this way. That's right, I'm gonna put it that way. And let's get our glue stick again because I can't find my roly poly. I'm rolling it, just giving us great color and texture, and we're quote unquote faux gessoing it. It's just helping the paper not be as porous. All right, glue sticks mad. And there we go, and we have some of that color on there as well. So, oh, I'm loving it. And I love that it did the border this time around it when I sprayed it. So, I'm loving that. Oh, just, just a little happy. Just a little happy. Look at that. That's the print off. Oh, man. Oh, putting these on the jelly plate. They're permanent though, but you'd have to work pretty fast, but I think it's going to be enjoyable. I think I'm going to do a video this week doing these on the jelly plate. Yes, I do. Yes, I do. Okay. So I want to do inside here and I want to do a little bit of white. I want it to be an opaque white though. And I don't know. Did I pull out white anywhere? Hmm. Oh, Kelly, Kelly. Let's use some Titan Buff. We'll use it. Uh, it won't be stark white, but it'll be a little bit. And I'm not worrying about how crisp, how crisp I do the white lines. White lines. Oh, right. uh, look at that, how it covers. Oh, my gosh. Oh, my gosh. Let me tell you, those of you who have applied for the, uh, so many of you have written me and said that you guys have applied and got accepted. When I tell you, you guys are going to pee your pants over how exciting and how wonderful these paints are, I'm not lying. I'm not lying. It is. They are fantastic. Fantastic. And I am so excited to see what everybody does. I'm on an art journal kick right now, but I have so much planned with these that I'm going to be doing. And I'm sure you all do too, so. I can't wait to see. All right. So you see I got that. So that bottom... We'll come through a little bit of the gray, but it's, you know, kind of there. And what I'm going to do is pull some of this pink down. Kind of like making it, I don't know, kind of grungy or, but just to pull it through where it's still a little bit wet. Look at that. Oh, yeah. And if you're not getting it coming from the top, do it from the bottom and pull it up very lightly. I'm holding my brush way up here and just do very, uh, there you go. Very light. Oh, I love it. It looks like it's bleeding. And I love it. I love it. Now I want to make around here. See, I love that dark and that texture coming through. I almost don't want to do anything else. I really don't. 
I want to write. I want to write up here. Let me see. I, did I show you this? I don't know if I showed you these. Let me grab this because I got the, uh, oh, that's liquid glass. I thought I got, because they have, oh, they have red that I couldn't find and I use magenta. They have, which I did not get, or I got one and I don't know where I did, what I did with it. It's around here somewhere. I'm putting, I'm organizing it. But what I got was a, um, they have tons of the twinkle writers. And I have some already, so I didn't really order them because um, I wanted to try these. But um, they do have Twinkle Writers, and uh, I wish I had one because that would be really great to write on there. And uh, let me see if I can find my Twinkle Writer that I have here, mine. Otherwise, I'm going another route. Oh, Kelly, 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 Kelly. Let's see. Let's see, maybe we can use this. No, I don't have, I can't find it. It's over there. It'll take me too long to uh, look right now, but I did find my uh, tulip bead in the bottle. No, it's not deco art, but I do want to see if this will come out. No, it's not going to, not going to give me exactly what I want. No, I want that, those uh, twinkles in the uh, bottle that they have that write the twinkle writers, they are so bold and beautiful. I'll have to look around as I'm cleaning up to see where mine is because I have a couple colors and I, like I said, I was so excited to try these other ones. Now I found this red one that I have sitting back there that I was going to put away and I'm going to try to squirt and see what it's like. Oh, maybe I can do, oh, I'm so excited with these products. I can't stop. Let me see. Wait, 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 wait. Let's do, let's do, We'll do this. All right. This will work. Perfect. Let's do love. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to find, let me see. I know I have white. This is the shimmer mister in white. I'm going to shake it up because there's shimmer in it. Now, if you want to take your time and take a minute and just so and all, by all means, please do. I'm not. I'm just going to go for it. Oh, 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 look at that. Oh, man. Oh, look. Oh, that's exciting. Look. Oh, look. That is what I'm talking about. Now I'm going to do, I'm going to take this. I know I'm all squished in a little corner creating, and I'm so sorry. But I'm going to take this, and I'm just going to do, like, some pressing. Just to add some of this white. If you don't want to touch your fingers, take your roly-poly or your glue stick, whatever you have. I'll tell you what, I'm going to give you a tip because I have a video coming up of using stuff around the house because y'all just beg, you guys write me. I get so many messages about uh, doing stuff, you know, using stuff around the house and your art. Uh, you can use an old cooking spray can to roll. I'm just saying, I'm just going all hands in. Why not? And I'm just adding more of that white around. Now, if I use my finger here a little bit, it'll blend that in. A little bit. That's already dry. That's crazy. That's fantastic. And then if you want to go and, uh, like if I lay that here and I want to take this again, I'll turn it sideways. I'll give it good pressure. Because I'm going to show you what I'm going to do next. And then that's just going to add a little bit. It didn't add too much white, but a little bit. But it dried off everything that was on here. Now this is a little wet still, so I don't really care though. I'm just going to lay this on here and then I'm going to take my red. It's the red media, deco art media, mister. And I'm going to give it a squirt this way, like graffiti ish. Like I was doing it's You're barely pushing it. Okay. And lift it up. Oh, I love it. A little too wet there, but I don't care. I don't care. Now I'm just going to push it down and add that everywhere. Just adding deliciousness. And look, if you don't like this because it's too, you know, too, uh, the red kind of pulled right there. And that's, you know what, guess what? We're using a magazine. <laughs> like it's going to happen. Take your white again. 
and just give it a little so it separates a minute. And once this is dry, I'm going to outline it with black. So you're going to see it pop, as they say. Pop, pop, pop. All right. Too much fun. And I'm just going to soak up. Soak it up. Like I said, that's going to be really cool once I outline that. I'm so excited. But that won't be this video because... I have to let it dry. Okay. See, we got all this great uh, texture there and a deliciously graffiti looking stamp. All right. All right. Oh, I wish I had one of them. Okay. So I'm going to, I'm not going to do this. Oh, you know what? I did not know something else I wanted you guys to know. You know, all the glitters that I have. Let me show you. I have 3,620,000 of these, the Glamour Dust. I have every single color, sometimes two, some of the uh, colors too, um, of the Glamour Dust uh, Purple Passion Deco Art. I've done tons of giveaways with these. These are mine. Um, I use them all the time. I've been using them forever. I know a lot of you have seen me use these. These are fantastic too. So I didn't get any of them because I knew that uh, I had a bunch. All right. I want that to dry a little bit. Cause I really want to, and that would require me having to plug my heat gun in, which I did not do yet. I'm going to, I'm going to, I'm going to, you'll be surprised the day I do. Now something you can do, let me just say this, and maybe I'll do that just to, sh just to show you guys. If you don't have a heat gun, cause I know a lot of you don't, I tell you guys all the time, go to the thrift store, get yourself an old hair dryer. If you have a hair dryer at home, use that. The heat gun really is fantastic, but you really only need it if you're doing, um, embossing. So if you're not doing embossing and you just want to dry your stuff, use your hair dryer. Um, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to take, I'm just going to take black paint, use whatever black paint you have. I'll do this now since we're doing it. So I'm not going to let it waste. And sometimes the liquid comes out and I even shook it, but what are you going to do? All right. So I'm going to take a small brush. You want a fairly small bristle, but if you don't have a small bristle, don't, don't, get upset about it. Use whatever you got. And I'm just going to go in, get some of that. And I'm going to trace this, but guess what? That liquid that came out has no color and no pigment. So I'm not being disgusting. I'm just shaking my bottle. All right. I don't want to hear it. Let me see if this works better. Yeah, I'm going to do a little fanciness. Okay, so I'm going to squirt out. You want thickness. I don't know why it's doing that. Horrible black paint. And a lot of black paint that's going to be wasted because I'm not going to... If I put that on anything I've done, I like to do a black page. That would be good. All right, so I'm just sticking my brush in there. And I'm just going to go... Now, what you can do... Let me show you. If you want to be very fancy and, and do exactly what this is, this is if it kind of gets a little wet, which... Look, you know I have no patience, so let's do this. Do it like this. And you can see you can just go in and kind of block out so it has the line and just trace it. So that white still shows, but you have the uh, outline. So let's see. Now I like to do it looser than the uh, stencil, but do whatever you want. And what I mean by looser is uh, you don't have to do everything <clears throat> the same way as it is. You know what the, you know, just do the letter so you can read it. But, you know, don't be uh, trying to be all fancy and trying to get everything spot on and being mad at yourself because you can't because that's the fun of doing art journaling. This isn't anything, you know, it's about having fun. See, and I got a clump of black in there, so I'll just probably paint that black. And you see, it comes out, it's drippy. It doesn't matter. You can go back and touch up if it's bothering you. You know, not too mad. I know what it says. And I just like having the fun. And if you still don't like it, go in and paint them. Like this. Where'd my brush go? Here we go. 
There is no right or wrong. You guys, this is about having fun. Look. So if you make a mistake, you just go in and do your thing. And you know what the great thing is? These paints will paint over, the, like give splatter, and that's what I'll probably end up doing. Let's just make that go off there because that's how I want it. Yep, I'm going to do splatter. Not this, not before it's dry, though. I mean, I want it dry first, and then I'll do it. And that'll add some graffiti to it as well. Look. Now you see what it says. What else can I do down here? Because now I like that, and now I'm excited to do the color, like a bright color over it, like yellow or green. Maybe I'm going to outline this, maybe with the bold black, and then go in with my paints. Hmm. I just love this page. I just keep staring at it, and I'm like, I don't think I really want to do much more. I think I'm going to do that, or I'll give it a quick spray over it, but that's about it. I think I'm going to take that on the top. Yeah. Maybe do some dribbles. That kind of looks like a spider. <laughs> I don't know if that was a good call, Cal. I don't know. I don't know, but this is what I'm going to do. I wet my brush and I'm going in like this and I'll get, when your brush is wet, you just take it up and I'll just kind of antique it a bit and then take my paper towel and wipe it. No harm, no harm. And just add some texture because you know what the great thing is? I can put that paint over it and it will go over it. Right, I'm pretty happy with that. I know it's a lot of me doing, you know, playing around and playing, but that's what I like to do. But that's going to be my cover page. And then I'll show you guys uh, when I do it, this quick, it'll be a quickie, but I'll show you how I do that just to add a little bit of color. But I dig this like grungy kind of look because this is the kind of thing it is. This isn't like a, and you can make it beautiful, um, but this isn't necessarily a beautiful journal. It's for me to play in and have a blast. Now, I'm not going to keep you guys any longer for uh, me to do the cover of the other one. But what I am going to do, and you guys know what I'm going to do probably. I'm going to take that black and I'm going to gesso some pages in here that don't have anything on it. I think I'm going to do that one first. Just take my brush. This way, when I go to paint or whatever, it already has some acrylic paint on it, so I don't have to gesso it. It'll be dry. And that's what I like to do. I tell you guys all the time to do this with your leftover paint. Don't ever waste it. I mean, sometimes, you know, we do. We do waste it, but why do that if we have things that we can... There. There's my gesso for that page. And that's plastic. You know, that's a that, uh, shiny cardboard glossy and that'll dry I'm just gonna flip it and then I'm gonna go back to the cardboard yep and I'm just gonna do this I'm gonna leave the window open the little circle open I'm not gonna do that but just throw it on there and those will be two pages that I will already have started. A lot of people are afraid of black. I, I love black. It's one of my favorite colors. I mean, um, you could do so much with it, but uh, don't be afraid. No matter what color you have left over, but don't be afraid of black because the colors pop and everything's so good and complimented when you use black. When you use like bright colors, it's really gorgeous stuff. 
Okay. So I got a lot uh, accomplished doing that. Now should I do one more page since I have that little bit of black left? Maybe I'll just do this. <clears throat> Isn't it fun watching me just scribble black on paper? Because my hands are covered and I have to turn the camera off and I thought why not just show you guys. So when I go to do it again, then you guys will see like, oh, it was when she did the paper, the black attack. Okay, that'll be it. That'll be perfect. And then just wipe up whatever's left. If you spray, if you're using a uh, nonstick mat and everything like that, of course, uh, it'll come right up. You can spray water on it and it will, especially black, because black's a color that, uh, likes to stay around. Okay. But I hope you guys enjoyed, you know, just watching me play a little bit. I love watching you guys play. It's fantastic. I love it. So inspiring and create. It just gets my juices going and I'm like, oh, look, you know, this, that, the other. You guys have the greatest videos. <clears throat> so these will be ready for the next one the next video i have the i wanted to do this today because i'm going to start the um mixed media girl and that'll be a couple days so just wanted to kind of get this done ready so it could dry so we can continue on and to do that uh, cover on the other one and that is it so as always be kind to each other you never know what battle somebody else is fighting i love you guys so very much you guys rock. Let me know down below if you guys went for the helping artist at Deco Art. You guys, it's, uh, you know, just go and apply. It doesn't hurt. Uh, so many people are getting accepted. Um, a few, you know, not everybody gets accepted. I don't know what their qualifications are. So, um, but it never hurts to try. And um, also, I just hope you all have a great Sunday. Game of Thrones finale tonight. So... Let me know if you guys watch that and what you guys think of the finale. I love you all so very much. Have a blessed day. Bye-bye.